Hello dear students, I am Dr. Sangram Pati. Now this video is regarding function overloading in object oriented programming system. Previous video I have done on default argument. We cannot use default argument and function overloading at a time. These two topics are totally different function overloading. Now consider this program. That is same as previous program I have taken. That is three variables num1, n1, n2, n3. Then one variable sum which will calculate addition of n1, n2, and n3. And next variable is float which will calculate average of three numbers. Calculate function will calculate sum and average. Show result here show result func member function. It is calling calculate which will calculate sum and average and it will display sum and average. Here I have not given any semicolon. That's why I have not used here CM. In previous example also I have explained this. And now check here three member functions. First, second and third. Assign three values which takes three parameters num1, num2, num3 and it is assigned to n1, n2 and n3. Assign two values, it takes two parameters n1, num1 and num2. Num1 is given to n1, num2 is given to n2 and then we are taking third value from a keyboard. And assign one value, which will take one parameter, that value we are giving to the n1 and then we are taking value for n2 and n3, this must be 3, num3, which will take value of n2 and n3. Okay, so we have three different member functions, assign three values, we will take three parameters, assign two values, which will take two values, two parameters, assign it to the n1 and n2 and it will take third value from a keyboard and assign one value, it will take one parameter and then it will take two values from a keyboard. Show result, calculate is called to calculate sum and average and addition and average is displayed. So if we check the main program, in main program again I am creating three objects just to explain you how why I have taken three examples three objects m1 m2 m3 that I have explained in previous video if you have not checked this default argument please check the video okay. so here m1 dot assign three values 12 34 and 56 m2 dot assign two values 10 and 20 and m3 dot assign one value 22. So when this statement is executed, it will go to execute this. It will pass three parameters, three values, 12, 34, 56. 12 will be given to num1, 32, 34 will be given to num2, 56 will be given to num3. And then it will assign it to n1 into n3. When this statement is executed, it goes to execute this. Value 10 is given to num1, value 20 is given to num2. It will take value n3 from a keyboard. And when this statement is executed, it goes to execute this function. Num1 will be given to 22, that is given to n1, and it will read value of n2 and n3 from keyboard. And correspondingly, we are calling immediately show result. Okay. Now, here, if you check this three member functions, assign three values, assign two values, and assign one value. Now, my dear student, these are the three member functions. The use of all the three member functions is same. Indirectly, we are trying to assign value to n1, n2 and n3. Maybe we are taking this value as a parameter and then we are assigning or we are taking few values as a parameter and few values we are reading from a keyboard like this. But at the end, ultimately, we are trying to assign values to n1, n2 and n3. Number of parameters are different. That's why we have given different member function names. And correspondingly, we are calling it m1 dot assign three values, m2 dot assign two values and m1, m3 dot assign one value. This we are calling. Check this. In real life, we have in object-oriented programming, 
we have one concept which is called as a function overloading. So here we have three different functions to whom we have given different name and number of parameters are different. So instead of giving different name, we can give same name to all the member function because ultimately aim of all these three member function is same. We have to assign value to n1, n2, n3 maybe through parameters or maybe through keyboard. So instead of giving different name, we can give same name to all the member functions and we can call it as m1 dot assigned values 12 34 56 here we are passing three values so compiler will go to execute assigned values member function which takes three parameters so it will go to execute this automatically here when it comes here m2 dot assigned values 10 20 we are passing only two values so compiler will go to execute the assign values member function which takes only two parameters so it will go to execute this here we are passing only single value so it will go to execute this member function automatically so instead of giving different name to all the member functions which are having same functionality we can give same name and number of parameters are different so giving same name to different member functions is called as a function overloading single function we are using for with single multiple functions we are giving same function name okay so here why we are doing this is in real life class writers are different and junior programmers are different after writing a class class writer has to release a note about all the public member functions and junior programmer has to remember all the member functions which he can access so in first previous example means this is a starting program junior programmer has to release note about one two three and four member functions but if you overload if we overload this function with same member function name like this okay so here now junior programmer has to release note about only two member functions that is assign values and show result he has to release only note about two member function and junior programmer has to remember only two member function that is assign values and show result so this we can use only if different parameters are there in c++ in object oriented programming system few programming languages like java its or c sharp they supports on data type as well as return value if return value is different or passing parameter one function takes integer value one function takes character value one function takes string value in that case also you can use function overloading but that is in java and c sharp if you consider c++ c++ allows you function overloading only in number of parameters not return type or not parameter type this is about function overloading okay so if you like this video please click on the video and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe the channel thank you thank you very much